Does taking selenium help Hashimoto's? Should you take it if you have Hashimoto's? I'm going to answer that question for you today because I get asked this question multiple times per week. And I'm going to give you what the research shows and what my 20 years of experience shows. And we're going to answer the question, should you be taking selenium? So Hashimoto's, of course, is an autoimmune condition. It's the most common organ-specific autoimmune condition. It's the most common cause of hypothyroidism. And I probably get asked 10, 15 times a week by incoming patients or existing patients, hey, I read about selenium or I saw something. Uh, should I be taking selenium? Well, selenium is one of the few things that we have a fairly decent body of research on. And I'm going to give you guys some links uh, down below in the description that says the following. If you take the right amount of selenium in the right form, for long enough, it has really good odds of lowering your antibodies, right? Now that sounds great, but let's dig into that. Does it matter if we're lowering the antibodies? So antibodies, we're talking about thyroid peroxidase, we're talking about thyroglobulin, and there's really more evidence about it uh, lowering thyroid, thyroid peroxidase. But those are the two antibodies that your immune system is making that is targeting your thyroid gland that is what's causing the hypothyroidism, so you know, that you can't make thyroid hormones, okay? Now selenium, can lower antibodies, and that sounds great. But you gotta remember, huge point, very important point. Antibody levels, or the amount of them, don't match up with how you feel or how you're doing, right? So yes, we want these thyroid antibodies to be low. Why? First reason, well, if the lower they are, the less chance that they're gonna cross-react with other tissues in your body. Meaning, thyroid antibodies can attach to things that aren't your thyroid. Uh, the cerebellum is one of the things that can do that. And it can prevent an autoimmune expansion the lower your antibody levels are. Almost everyone that has an autoimmune problem, if you've had it long enough, you're probably going to get another one. Uh, and that's because the immune system checks and balances have already been broken. And the thing that can make you get more autoimmune conditions in Hashimoto's is if your antibody levels are really high, right? So we like that. We want the antibody levels to be low. But I can tell you from 20 years of experience that just because someone's thyroid antibodies are at 1,000 doesn't mean they feel bad. I've had some people whose antibody levels are barely over the reference range and they feel terrible. So why is that? Well, it's because everyone's immune system is different. Uh, and as I'll point out later, it's why I believe you really shouldn't be treating yourself and just taking selenium and thinking that you're, you know, your whole world's going to turn around. You need to be working with someone that can really understand the nuances and do all the correct testing. So the time frame for selenium lowering antibodies is usually about six months if you kind of look at the research. But again, does that matter, right? Does it matter if your antibodies go from 250 to 150? Well, yeah, that's good, we like that. But I don't want you to think that if your antibodies go down, you're gonna feel better. Now, why do I keep harping on that? Because most people that are looking to take a selenium or people that make it to me that have Hashimoto's, they don't feel good. Uh, their TSH may look normal. They may be taking a thyroid medication. Uh, but they don't feel good. And that's usually because they have some sort of a usage problem, uh, which I've talked about in other videos. And basically the usage problem is, is because, you know, the blood test that you do, TSH, T4, et cetera, they can tell you how many hormones are floating around, but it can't tell you if you're using them. And most people with Hashimoto's that make it to me that still feel bad, they're taking the medication. TSH looks okay. Free T4 looks okay. But they have a usage problem. And with a usage problem, that depends on the thyroid hormone receptors that are in the cells. And really what happens is inflammation is the number one thing that can block that. So selenium can lower the antibodies, but it may not affect this usage problem. It may not affect your overall autoimmune situation, right? So selenium is generally safe as long as you're not taking more than 200 micrograms uh, per day. The form most of the studies talk about is called selenomethionine. But my final point that I want to tell you is that selenium is like the single thing you do. It's probably not going to do much uh, into how you feel and how you perform. You're going to need to work with someone who can look at selenium as part of an overall treatment plan, an overall uh, approach to you and your immune system. I mean, that's why I like to do multiple tissue antibody testing. I like to do uh, lymphocyte immunophenotype testing because that really lets me uh, dig down and look at the individual because just because you have Hashimoto's and you have the elevated antibodies, that doesn't mean your immune system is doing exactly what the next Hashimoto's patient is doing. That's why immunophenotyping, I think, is so important. Is selenium safe? Yeah, generally speaking. Does it help? Well, yeah, it helps lower antibody levels, but huge caveat, that doesn't mean you're going to feel better, right? You could still have depression, anxiety, brain fog, muscle pain, 
uh, weight gain, even if your antibodies go from 200 to 100. Okay, so it's a little bit of a, I really can't think of a good metaphor except to say, it's kind of like, you know, if you get older and your hair goes gray, you could dye your hair, but that doesn't stop you from getting older, right? Just makes your hair look better. That's kind of what selenium's like. Yes, it can help with TSH, it can help with T4, it can lower the thyroid antibodies, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna make you feel better. And that's why you should work with someone that understands selenium is one component of looking at your Hashimoto situation. Uh, primarily, we wanna look at your immune system and, and analyze and dissect that. So, work with someone that understands all that, <laughs> right? And work with someone that understands what tests to order, how to interpret them, how to treat them, how do you follow up and find out if they're working. And yes, selenium's pretty cool, uh, and it's probably safe, but I don't think you should treat yourself because using it by itself may not have much of an effect on how you feel overall. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Have a good one.